A terminally ill pensioner says he's been forced to live in a caravan without running water due to a lack of accessible housing. East Ayrshire Council say Drew McCartney, who has motor neuron disease, is top of the waiting list, but his family say the situation is taking its toll. Louise Scott reports. The two steps into this caravan are beginning to become a struggle for 67-year-old Drew McCartney. The caravan has no running water or central heating, but even this is a better option than his family home. I had to get lifted up the stairs, the front stairs, the house. I couldn't go up the stairs to the toilet or to the bedroom. I had to sleep on the living room floor in a blow-up mattress. Drew and his family made the difficult decision to move to their caravan in Castle Douglas last March as there was no accessible housing available. They saw this as a temporary move until something suitable came up or their house was sold. I just tried to live the life I've got left the best I can. It's not what I wanted to do. I only wanted to have a caravan when I went, when I wanted a week holiday. Drew's home, family and friends are all here in Cumnock, which is an hour and a half drive from the caravan. East Ayrshire Council say there are 97 bungalows in this area, but only two have come up over the past six months, and a further three were deemed unsuitable because of their accessibility. They say they are now top of the list, and they're due to build a further 20 bungalows over the next five years. But time is not something this family has in abundance. Totally understand that um, there's got to be houses available and obviously it takes time, but as Drew's just been saying, time is one of the things that we don't really have a lot of. MND is a rapidly progressing terminal illness. People can lose the ability to walk, talk, breathe unaided and it's really very, very urgent for them. The caravan park closes during February. And so the family now need to work out what options Drew has. There's going to come the time that I can't get about. And then I don't know what's going to happen now. Louise Scott, SCV News.